Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not an investment advice. So this video is another deep explanation video and this time I will show you again how I do my analysis. I show you uh, the way into my thinking protest process when I'm doing those kind of trades. So. Uh, and, uh, and I want to show you, because before I do this, I want to show you something. So we have here this kind of chart, yes, uh, look at this. So, and I would like that you make your thoughts, yes, about what will be happening next, yes, on this kind of chart. And I can show you here on this chart immediately, yes, that uh, those one who will trade the next candle, yes, are those one who are gonna probably losing their trade yes because we are getting here and that is what what is important to understand we have here an uptrend yes it's a major uptrend you see the 200 the 100 the 50 and the 20 but we have what exactly a consolidation area between the 20 and the 50 we are getting we are coming from an uptrend yes we are getting here into a downtrend we got here three touches of the 20 EMA. So you do not trade, yes, you do not trade until this kind of 20 EMA is broken. In this kind of area, you do only puts, yes, but in this case, it's not anymore the case to do puts, yes, because you have already three touches, yes, and it's not to do a case, to do a call, because we are exactly on the level of this 20 EMA, yes, that is also clear. Or so, and we are in an uptrend. That means you wait till this candle here, one next candle, will break through the 20 EMA, and then you decide what's happening. Or yes, you wait till you get a better position and price will touch or get close to this level here, and then you do a call because that is then against again into the direction of the major trend. So that is only one example, yes, how you can uh, train yourself by doing this kind of things, by hiding the chart, yes, the parts chart, and doing this kind of analysis on your own and trying to understand what's going on on the chart, yes. So I would never trade in this kind of condition, yes, because this is looking like a trap. That means, this three weeks here are showing me that the 20 EMA is most, most probably to be broken, yes. But because we are in a consolidation area and in ranging mode, yes, you see here one deviation, one deviation. I would never enter into a trade in this kind of condition. I will, I would wait that price will break through this. Uh, support and resistance the 20 EMA and then I would trade the next candle if it would get a rejection from it. So and today I'm going to show you how to predict the next candlestick direction, the next uh, candlestick uh, color. Yes, uh, it's a um, continuation of that kind of video which I have done that last week. Yes, I have to say that is my uh, the opinion in this uh, because um, uh, you have provided me and I have to show you this because that makes me really proud. Yesterday I have released again a wave of uh, robot mentorship program, program students. Yes, so if you want to get your feet into the bot mentorship program, I can show you this here again. Wait one second. I want to show you today uh, uh, much more in detail everything so that you understand what kind of concepts are important to understand those kind of thinking when I'm doing my trades. And um, yes, the bot mentorship program. So you know the bot mentorship program is a process, yes. It's a process, uh, it's a four week crash course. This four week crash course is a bulletproof trading approach. Yes, I have already released more than 50 uh, students, yes. And uh, they uh, got all successful profitable because, because if they are not successful profitable, I will not release them, yes. Uh, they are really, uh, really happy and uh, I have to say that I'm really proud of them. So that is a four week approach. This bot mentorship program is still available for you. Yes, you can still apply for the bot mentorship program. To apply for the bot mentorship program, you have to do nothing else than sending me an email with 
the subject bot mentorship program and then you enroll the bot application bot mentorship program application process this is for free yes it doesn't cost you anything and you will also understand and learn what you need um, yes what you need uh, to uh, get successful profitable yes those kind of concepts which I have explained in my ebook so so but I get almost often the question, how much is the fee for the bot mentorship program? And I can say only one thing again and again, and I don't know why uh, so many uh, are asking me this. Yes, the fee for the bot mentorship program is not a fixed fee. I can say this almost over and over again. The fee of the bot mentorship program depends mostly from this kind of application process. Yes. Um, where you have to pass through those eight steps. It's, there are eight steps, one more, one less, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, there are eight steps. Yes, in these eight steps, you have almost the, um, the um, it's almost possible that you get rejected from me. Yes, if I see that you are not able uh, or not ready for it, yes, then I will reject you and I'm sending you again back to practicing. Yes, or you join, uh, or you get through this uh, and then you are uh, approved that you can join the bot mentorship program. And how you pass through these steps here, yes, yes, because at the end I will do the review. And when I have done the review, I will decide if you are um, legit to uh, become a bot mentorship program student or not. Yes. And uh, uh, we, how you do these steps here, yes, not how fast, yes, because it's almost important that you understand it's not about how fast you get to, through those steps, yes, because I have students which need two weeks, I have students uh, which have uh, needed four weeks, yes, and there are also students which which have needed uh, more than two weeks, yes, because it doesn't matter from the time which you spend, it doesn't matter how you um, engage with the content, with those kind of things, what I'm asking you and how you are answering those kind of things. And depending on that, it depends how, uh, if I accept you as student, if you get rejected or not, yes, or, and second, how much will your fee, yes, because it's this, there is no fixed fee, yes, I can say this over and over again, but I can say, much earlier you get through the application process, much less, yes, earlier I mean um, you, uh, if you would, uh, those one who applied for the application process, for example, uh, two months ago, they pay less than those one who are uh, joining now to the application process because uh, it's obviously, yes, the uh, bot mentorship program will not be uh, less cheap. Yes, it will not be cheaper. It will be most expensive. Yes, because uh, I have nearly reached my bot mentor uh, um, um, account. Yes, that means I have uh, already uh, all my bot mentors which I needed. So uh, um, it's, it's obviously that I have not so much interest anymore to do this kind of bot mentorship program. And so it will be much more expensive for those one who are, uh, yes, uh, it's like those one, uh, the early bird gets the warm, yes. And those one who are uh, too late, uh, I have to pay in this sense a little bit more, yes, because at the end um, uh, I cannot do anything else because uh, like, like I told you so often, my time is not, uh, uh, um, is precious, yes, and I have to, um, uh, dedicate my time and uh, there is really no nearly no one who um, I dedicate so much time in their students like I do yes and my students know this so okay I have explained this yes and uh, uh, it depends from the application process yes uh, how much will be the fee for the bot mentorship program so if somebody tells you yes I have paid this in this sum yes it's his sum, yes, it doesn't mean that you will get the same sum because he has a, a, another, he pays through the application process different from you. And second, he was earlier in the board, board mentorship program in the application process than you, yes, and that makes uh, in all in all the difference. But those, and I have to say this, those which got um, at, the, at the beginning in the bot application process and passed through it and got approved. Yes, those the, the price for them will be fixed for for the whole time. That means those one who entered on the bot mentorship program two months ago with a specific fee, and I to told them the fee, they will get in the bot mentorship program still with this fee. They have to contact me, yes, and then they get the fee which they have uh, uh, um, uh, reached. Yes, and uh, so that is this one. Okay, that was uh, this kind of part. 
yes and then you get in this kind of bot mentorship program in this four week trading approach yes which uh, has created already more than 50 uh, students uh, uh, to successful profitable traders yes and uh, yes and you have still the possibility because i get almost often the question uh, what is with the bot mentorship program uh, i have heard that you do do stop this and so on and so on yes and i can say yes i will not do this forever obviously what is on the earth forever nothing is on earth forever yes uh, but uh, i'm still here i'm still doing this yes but i can say it will not be long for long anymore yes uh, uh, we are talking here only about a few months yes and so i would say if you want to get in this privilege to get be mentored by my by me yes then i would say it's time to apply for the bot mentorship program. Sending an email, it's not uh, a great deal. Yes, sending me an email with the subject bot mentorship program to my email address and then you are enrolled in the application process. I can say only the application process is not easy. Yes, uh, because you see here, you can get rejected at any point. You have to uh, dedicate your time if you are not uh, willing to dedicate. The first three questions are those one, yes. If you are, uh, if you are willing to dedicate time, if you are willing to dedicate money, and if you are willing to dedicate your dedication, yes. Uh, and if uh, most of them are answering all three with yes, but uh, the major majority of you are not doing this because you are saying something and you are not doing something. And that is the reality. And so I can say this bot mentorship program is a, a securation for me. Yes, a securation for me that I don't waste my time with students who are not willing to learn. And it's a securation for you. Yes, that you have now. Okay, I can do this or I cannot do this. Yes, and if you are can, uh, if uh, I think you are cannot do this yet because I have got so many students already, then you will not get through the bot mentorship program application process. Yes, then you will be rejected uh, earlier. But you can apply whenever you want again. Yes, if you think you are ready, because everybody can change. Yes, and it's not. Uh, a fixed thing so that is about the bot mentorship program long story yes long story but uh, i got so often this question so then i have to cover something else which i want to um, discuss here yes and that is first of all i have to thank you all yes i have to thank you all for your support yes you know some of my videos got deleted on youtube yes and uh um, and I don't know what uh, what uh, what uh, what they think, so why uh, they are deleting them, but it doesn't matter. Yes, I have done so many, and I have uh, also found another solution. I am uploading them to Vimeo. If uh, for those one who are interested, uh, search for Vimeo uh, slash Vimeo.com slash Trader. Yeah, there you find uh, the videos which got deleted. Yes, and uh, yes, and I have to say thank you to all of you because of this video here. That is one of my last videos. Yes, and uh, you see here, and that is what makes me really happy. We, I got here nearly 3,000 views. Yes, 3,000 people who watch this video. And then you see here 110 likes, yes, thumbs up, and zero thumbs down. Yes, zero thumbs down. And I have to say, yeah, that uh, makes me really happy. That is why i am really motivated i don't know where my haters are yes that are obviously my fanboys i love you all yes and uh, those one are my subscribers i love you too yes because uh, uh, but that one here that i got here zero thumbs down that is nearly impossible for me yes it makes me so much so so proud after three thousand views not even one has done a thumbs down i'm a little bit um yes i'm a little bit uh, um, uh disappointed yes because uh um, I believe that there will still my haters, yes, which uh, don't like my videos. But I have to say, maybe I have converted them too. Yes, they understood that I'm doing here a great job. Yes, that I'm trying to provide knowledge to all those kind of traders out there. Yes, to make them financial free. Yes, and obviously successful, profitable. Yes, that is what I want to show you, which I want to share you with you, because that are things which motivates me. Also today to do this uh, amazing video because today I'm doing another amazing video uh, where I'm going to show you how I'm doing my thinking process, what kind of trades I do, yes, and uh, how I do this on the live chart, yes, um, 
and uh, much more in detail and uh, based on those kind of concepts. And now we are coming to the next point, which I want to talk because I got and see this question often and often and often. Yes, that is uh, yes uh, those concepts which I have explained in the ebook. So we have here the price action guide. Yes, that is the black one. The black one is the price action guide. This price action guide is the fundament. That means the fundament of uh, price action. All concepts which are explained in this price action guide. Yes, it's uh, nearly 120 pages. Yes, you see here are some uh, some of uh, the students who have uh, uh, printed it. Yes, which have uh, yes, which have printed it. They have marked on the mark. That are concepts. That are illustrations. Yes, you find here illustration pictures. Yes, nobody else has done something similar. Yes, nobody else has brought this to the point like me. Yes, I have done this in this price action guide. But you have to understand that the price action guide is only illustr illustration of those concepts which I have explained in my videos. It's an additional uh, um, foundation. You can watch those things which I have uh, explained there. Yes, and then you have to watch the videos to understand those kind of concepts. Because I get so many questions: why the errors, this and those. Uh, yes, that is an illustration, and you have to watch the video to understand what I have explained. If you are not able or you have not the time. Um, to watch and you know maybe you don't understand what I'm telling because my English is not so good yes and uh, there are also some students and some subscribers who uh, more subscribers who do not like that I'm saying yes yes if you don't like to what I want to have to say you can get my price action Bible yes that is the price action Bible that is the white one yes the white one is the price action Bible and this price action Bible are 270 pages yes where everything is explained in detail i have done some videos where i have explained the difference in me, uh, uh, exactly that is called price action guide versus price action bible yes where i have explained the difference in detail and i will show you today the exactly difference between the price action guide and the price action bible on the live chat when I'm doing this video, yes, when I'm doing the how to trade the can next candlestick uh, direction, the next candlestick color, yes, and um, yes, and that will be uh, for those one who still today do not know the difference between the price action guide and the price action Bible. So then we are getting here to the bot mentorship program. There are no bot mentorship program self study modules. Yes, there are four packs. Yes, those four packs are uh, almost. Uh, I can show you this. Yes, that are almost four packs. Yes, pack one is for the beginners. Pack two is for the uh, average. Yes, pack three is for the advanced. Yes, and the pack four is for those one who are nearly pros. Yes, that makes represents the four steps of the bot mentorship program. That are a lot of videos. Yes, where I explain everything. And in detail, what has gone wrong, what has gone good, what was good, and what uh, is based on all those kind of concept based on those things which I have explained in the ebooks. Yes, uh, you see everything what I'm telling is fundament. Yes, the fundament are the ebooks because there is explained everything in detail. How I analyze the chart, what kind of price action concepts I'm applying to uh, my trading. Yes, everything in detail. Um, and uh, the price action guide in illustrations and the price action Bible with text explanations. Yes, deep text explanation. And that is also the reason why the price action Bible is the fun, uh, is a, a giveaway. Yes, it's a giveaway for the. Uh, for what mentorship program this is an educational material yes which you need to understand those things which I'm expe uh, explaining in my videos and in, uh, and also in the bot mentorship program so that is this one the video pack yes it's almost four four gigs yes uh, of uh, data of videos uh, some more some less yes uh, really really high educational and you get instant access to my core knowledge gained in years of experience and I can tell you that are really a good they will they sell themselves from alone I have already so many uh, uh, subscribers who got this 
uh, video packs, yes, uh, and they are buying really week after week the next the next video pack uh, because they understood how valuable why valuable this kind of videos are about. Okay, so and then obviously again the bot mentorship program, yes, that is uh, what uh, all this kind of stuff is about. If you are still struggling, if you are not able to become successful, profitable, then join the bot mentorship program. Yes, the pro plan for the crash course. Important is you have to pass through the application process to get this bot mentorship program pro plan. Yes, you cannot purchase it immediately. Yes, because I'm not such kind of guy who uh, tries uh, to uh, scam you or something like this. Yes, if you have no knowledge, if you have no understanding of the market, if you don't know at least a few concepts of the price action, you will be not successful profitable and you can pay whatever you want. You will not become successful profitable. Yes, you will only lose your money. And I'm, I have a, a good relation to my karma. Yes, I'm uh, thinking I'm doing good things and I want to sleep at night really well. And so I have to provide this application process. There are so many who want to pass through it without the application process they want to get immediately in the bot mentorship program yes but i have to say no thank you yes i'm not willing to do this yes because i'm not willing to get money and then not providing successful profitable students yes that is what I, my goal is you are my business card if you get out of the uh, bot mentorship program and uh, so it's for me important that your success is important for me yes and not the money itself yes because if i want to do this money i go on my on the market do a few trades and then i have this money without stress without doing anything yes and uh, without uh, asking uh, or uh, without uh, um, dedicating my time yes uh, to uh, educate you yes i'm doing this i told this also often yes mainly because i need bot mentors who um, uh, know the concepts which i'm teaching yes who understand those things and who are willing to give this to the next students yes that is my main goal why i'm doing this i'm not doing this for the money yes i'm doing this almost to educate obviously because i'm investing my time in this kind of uh, education yes i have to get a fee that is obviously yes um, and uh, but i can see my uh, yes the fee which i'm asking is really ridiculous in, in, in confront of that what you get for this money so okay i have talked a lot enough about this yes um, for those one who are interested yes um, um, those uh, chart which i'm uh, uh, dedicating today yes is again a live chart yes I will prepare this here. We have it here. How to predict next candlestick direction. Yes. And next candlestick color. The candlestick psychology revealed. Yes. I will again get in deep, really deep insight in candlestick psychology. I will give you really that what you need. Yes. Uh, because I get so many uh, questions. So many um, uh, traders, subscriber, students are asking me this. How do you do this? Yes, please give us, uh, give us an insight in the thinking process and because you have, um, uh, you have provided me in the last video with all this kind of, with all this kind of uh, uh, thumbs up and all this kinds of uh, views, yes, and with no uh, thumbs down, yes, which shows me that you liked, yes, you really liked this video, yes, so I'm giving you another video which is um, really educational, yes, and will um, open your mind much more uh, about this. For those one who are interested in the live chart, yes, I have done a, a screenshot. Last time uh, a student asked me if he could have uh, the, um, the uh, live chart of it. You can have it. I have uh, done a screenshot of this, yes, and to, uh, if you want, I can send this to you. Uh, send me an email uh, with the subject live chart, and then you get this kind of live chart, which I'm drawing now. Yes, uh, there are on the live chart uh, also the EMAs and the Bollinger Bands, like always implement but you don't need this if you have a big or a great understanding of the market you can do this also without any kind of indicator and I'm trying to do this here without indicator because I want to show you um, uh, that uh, you can do this but you have 
to um, think out of the box. Okay, so we are going to start. So that is the chart which we are, we are coming from an uptrend. Yes, we are coming from an uptrend. And uh, the next trade, yes, the next candle was a trade which I have done. Yes, because we are an uptrend, we got this kind of inverted bullish hammer. Yes, an engulfing candle here inside bar, which shows me that we are still in uptrend. The next trade was a call. Yes, and important here is I. Well, I've done this call only because I waited that the price got back to this level here. Yes, to this level. And on the rejection from this level, I'm entering into a call. Yes, because that is showing me buying pressure here. Yes, and that is the reason why I entered into a call from below in the upper direction. And I will draw now the next candle. Okay, so that was the next candle. Yes, I entered here into a call on this rejection from this level. I will show you now. Uh, that is based on the concept about the engulfing candle. Yes, bullish engulfing candle. Uh, let me show you this. I will show you this now here. Bullish engulfing candle. Um, yes, bullish engulfing candle. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I, I think it will take too much time if I'm doing this like this. Let me see if this is engulfing candle. Uh, no, it's the inside bar. Here we have engulfing candle. No evening star. So it will. I, I will stop the video. Okay, here do we have this? No falling window. Okay, well, uh, I will. Okay, here. Let me see. Engulfing candle. Yes, engulfing candle. You see here. Uh, call option. Yes, call option. From the here, you see the rejection from this level. Yes. So you do call. But important is, if this uh, closing price is close to the support and resistance, for example, the support and resistance level would be here, yes, then you have not to use this kind of level for doing the rejection, then you need to use this support level for the rejection, yes, because price tries almost to retrace back to the support and resistance level, yes. That is what I'm trying to show you here, yes. That is what's important to understand. Yes, you cannot trade this only like I have explained here. You have to understand those minor things which I'm explaining over and over again in the video. So, and uh, that is the call option on the engulfing candlestick, okay. The call option on the engulfing candlestick on the bullish engulfing candlestick. Now I'm going to show you because I want to show you this today much more in detail. So we have here the bullish engulfing candle, engulfing, engulfing candlestick. Let me see, candle, candlestick. Okay, I have think I think I have to stop the video. Okay, bullish engulfing candlestick exactly. So we got here. So that is the same page like on the price action guide. So and then we are going here one, two pages deeper. Then we have the bullish engulfing candle, and that is the difference between the price action guide and the price action uh, bible. Yes, you see this is a price action bible. And here's just written exactly what you have to do. Enter only into a call trade when price moves in per case time above the closing price. Yes, above the closing price of previous candle. Yes, and uh, uh, yes, and on rejection from below above opening price of four last candlesticks. That means in this kind of area. Yes, if price is moving in purchase time here below. Yes, below the uh, closing price of the previous candle, that is this one, and then yes, in the rejection up, uh, uh, in the expiration time up. So do not enter into a call if price is breaking through the price of the four last candle, that is this one here. Yes, uh, without any sign of rejection. If this will happen, it means you have to get this kind of area. Yes, as support and resistance. Yes, that is what uh, this is exp uh, explaining in the ebook and in the price action bible. Yes, you get here the exact explanation. Explanation what you have to do depending on the specific 
uh, yes, candlestick, obviously criterias, how it has to look like and all those kind of stuff. So that is the difference between the price action guide and the price action bible. Yes, and that is what I have done here. So, okay, that was uh, the first one. I will show you much more uh, in the upcoming because I have done much more trades. It were uh, nearly five trades in, uh, in 20 minutes. Yes. Uh, I was really conservative this time. So, okay, that was the call. Bullish engulfing candle, rejection from this level here, yes, of this um, uh, area, yes, and then I entered into a trend continuation because we are here in an uptrend. So, this is already showing me here, yes, this shows me already that we are getting here losing of momentum, yes, and so I'm not entering at the moment into a trade because this could be also some kind of hang, hanging man or something like this. So I would not enter into the next trade. And I didn't enter into the next trade. And I the next candle was this. So, okay, that was the next candle. Yes, uh, a weak candle. So that is already a sign that price or the trend is losing momentum. You have to imagine that you have here some kind of Bollinger Bands. And much more price is going in this kind of direction without big candles and the candles are getting tighter you have to understand that you are getting far away from the two deviation Bollinger band which is here on the left yes and we are going into some kind of reversal area yes and uh, on the next candle i still didn't enter into the next candle yes because i was not sure if this would be only a retracement Obviously, the chance that this will be a reversal is much higher in this case, yes, but the candles were creating higher highs and higher lows, and so I didn't enter into the next trade, and on the next candle happened this. Oh, so that was the next candle, yes, and uh, after this candle, I entered into a put trade, yes, um, and that uh, uh, immediately, yes, because that was a clear sign that we have now an evening star, Yes, and that we are going to break this area as they are going down because we are now really far. You don't need to understand, uh, you, you don't need to apply any kind of Bollinger Bands or anything else. Yes, this only is showing you here that we are going far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band, that, we, that the trend has lost momentum, that price is doing here a reversal at this round number or close to this round number so you don't need anything yes and so i entered on the next candle into a put without any kind of rejection yes because there is nothing what you could reject the only thing what uh, you could wait for a rejection from this level yes but in general that is not needed yes because at the end you are here far away from this round number yes and uh, you are here in between and that is already enough to understand that price will do a reversal because this quick here is doing a lower high yes and uh, that is already enough in this case so and i have understood that we are going here into a reversal and so i entered on the next candle into a put yes and the next candle was this okay that was the next candle yes that candle was a, a really nice candle this broke this broke the uh, support and resistance level based on this round number. Yes, and that was a nice victory candle. And after this candle, it happens this. Yes, because this week was showing already buying pressure. Yes, and so, uh, but I didn't enter on the next candle because we were too close to this support and resistance level. Yes, so I waited. Yes, uh, you see how important it is that you do not trade each and every yes, candlestick. You have to understand what the market is going to do around the key levels. Yes, and in this case, I waited for the next candle because this week was showing buying pressure in this case because we didn't broke this kind of support and resistance level here uh, strongly. It was almost um, uh, only a, um, uh, a weak breakout. Yes, and so I waited because this week was showing me buying pressure. Yes, in relation to this real body of this bearish candle, it's nothing, yes, so it could be uh, the next candle still a bearish one, yes, but uh, I was not convinced to do any kind of trade here, you could use this kind of support level, obviously, yes, because this candle broke it, yes, and so you can expect that the next candle will close below this, 
Yes, uh, but uh, I was not sure what's happening. Yes, because it could be also a fake breakout because of this week here. So I have avoided the next candle as to trade. Yes, because the market is giving so many opportunities. You don't need to trade each and every candlestick. You trade only those one which you are confident with. Yes, that is what I'm telling almost often. Also, my students. Yes, don't trade each and every candlestick because they trade mostly like somebody would point the gun on them. Yes, on the head and tell you now you have to trade the the biggest the the really worst positions the worst trading setups they are trading them uh, it looks like they have no other chance they have to do this because somebody is pointing a gun on the head that's because why do you trade in such kind of consolidation to areas yes where nobody knows what will happen you trade with all those kind of opportunities which the market is offering in one hour yes so okay let me see the next candle was this so that was the next candle, yes, and after this candle, exactly, I entered into a call, yes, I entered into a call because this was a clear sign that this will be a fake breakout. I have explained this already so often, a fake breakout in form of a morning star. Let me see if I can show you those kind of concepts here again in the ebook. Yes, a fake breakout uh, in form of a morning star. That is this one here, something like this. And then, so here, morning star, here, fake wig out of the morning star. It's not looking exactly like this. Yes, you can do the wig above. That is all the same concept which I have explained here on those kind of trading setups without no rejection. Yes, uh, only a little bit more indifference. Yes, something like this here. Yes, here, this one. Yes, you got here. A bearish candle doji yes fake breakouts that is what fake breakouts are look alike yes or you can do this also here on this one you see I have explained this often um, let me see if I can show you this yes a huge candle doji yes here something like this here yes huge candle here morning star huge candle doji breakout yes something like this yes of a support and resistance level yes you see here this quicks are creating here support and resistance it was a fake breakout or you can use also the wicks yes which are the fake breakout yes it doesn't matter that, the, that, is, that is the concept which i'm talking about yes you have to get your imagination you have to get ready yes for your mind this week here is showing buying pressure yes that is candlestick psychology that this is buying pressure price try to push against it yes we are here because you have to understand why this candle is not going down further yes already conquered this area it was not able to get slower than this it's creating higher highs uh, higher lows yes so there is now the trend is losing momentum we are here at the key level and so i entered on the next candle into a call yes into a call expecting uh, yes that, that would be a morning star so Important here is okay. I will draw this. Okay, that was the next candle. Yes, and important here is again that you understand. Yes, that you understand how the support and resistance levels are uh, interacting with the price. Yes, so that was the next candle. So on the next candle, why I didn't have done a call or a put in this kind of next candle? Yes, because a lot of traders, a lot of my students, a lot of subscribers, a lot. Of those one who are watching my videos would have done a call from the rejection from this level because they say it's a morning star yes it's a morning star yes but the problem here is and that is what I want to mention because so that you understand this I told you we have here the two deviation Bollinger band we are going far away from the one two deviation yes we are getting here already in a ranging area so we are far away from the two deviation what does this mean we are here already at the one deviation Bollinger band close to this yes so we have a first top yes we got a top because we got here already a retracement yes and now we are getting here forming maybe a second top yes and that is what this is important is you have to get a view for this yes and so the next candle i would not enter into a call because we are not anymore into a some kind of strong trend yes no strong winner uptrend because we are far away and we have got already the reversal here yes we are far away from the two deviation yes and so you can expect here that the next candle will not be a trend continuation it will be mostly trap you the price would go 
go down, yes, and then it would go down much more, and that is how they trap you, yeah, because then also this concept, which I have explained here, didn't work out, yes, because you have to uh, imagine already the, the right direction here, this one, yes, you have to imagine the right direction, yes, to understand this, so let me see, that would this one here, first it goes down, and then it goes up, but this works only if you know the direction of the train, yes, and so, let me see, uh, here in this case, I didn't enter into a trend continuation because I understood that we are far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band. We have here a, a second top and I will explain, I shall explain this again and again and again. Important here is if you got the first top, yes, you don't have to trade a, a, not a call till the price is breaking through this top. Yes, or you do not do a put till you have some kind of evidences of a reversal. So is this a is this a, a evidence of a reversal? No. So you do not do a call here. Yes, you don't do, do a call. I did nothing. I waited for the next candle. Okay, so that was the next candle. Yes, and after this candle, I entered into a put. Let me draw this a little bit correcter. It's not really correct. So, okay, that was this candle. Yes, and yes, after this candle, what I have done exactly, I entered into a put trade. Yes, because it was clear for me that the next candle will be a bearish one because this, yes, was the reversal pattern which I was waiting for after the second top. Yes. The next candle didn't broke this level. This next candle was a reversal pattern. You see here we have a resistance level. Yes, and so I entered on the next trade into a put, expecting a bearish candle, a red candle. Yes, uh, or uh, like you want also a black candle. Yes, it does it prevents how you use it. And yes, and that was the next trade which I have done. So one second. So that was the next candle, yes, and, and after this I have again avoided any kind of trade. Why? Because if you get after a dark cloud cover, yes, with this lower shadow which is showing selling pressure, this kind of weak candle which is creating a higher higher low, yes, then you have to imagine that there could be something uh, strange here, yes, that because we are far away, you have to understand the relation to the market, that's where you are. We are far away from the two deviation. We are here in between the one deviation upper band and the one deviation lower band or the middle Bollinger band. I don't know, yes? Something like this. And in this kind of area, yes, there's ranging market. So you have to be, uh, avoid and you have to be careful because here price can retrace back, yes, and doing here reversal, you, like I have explained before, you have to wait, if you have a bottom, here we have a bottom, yes, that the price will break through it, yes, or showing you some kind of reversal signal, yes, and this doji is not enough for a reversal signal, so I waited for the next candle, yes, because I was not sure what's happening here. Okay, that was the next candle, yes, and on the next candle I didn't trade any, uh, also not, yes, because it was not sure what will happening, yes, so I avoided the next trade too, a lot of would have done a put here, I would have done not a put because it was not clear for me, because we have here some kind of support and resistance level, yes, we have price action on the left, just right, yes, but anyway, this break here through this round number was not enough for me, to get into a put trade, so I avoided, yes, because I was not sure, and the next candle was this, so that was the next candle, yes, and on the next candle, I entered again into a call, yes, I entered again into a call, because that was the clear sign for me that price will continue to going up, because we were in an uptrend, here happens something what looks like a pullback, here we have a double bottom, this candle broke this support and resistance level, yes, really huge, this week is showing that it conquered already the previous, uh, the higher, the higher territory. Yes, and so I entered into a trend continuation after this double bottom. This week here is showing buying pressure. After this, I understood this. Yes, because I saw this week, this candle. Yes, here in this case, it was looking like selling pressure. Yes, but we are too close to the support and resistance level. It was only a fake breakout. Yes, and after this, I entered into a call. Yes, and uh, the next. Uh, obviously, I didn't use the uh, 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 enter uh, below the closing price of the previous candle on this level here of this wicks. 
Yes, so uh, on the rejection from this week, I entered into a call. So and the next candle was this. Okay, so then I um, I waited. Uh, I have done already one, two, three, four, four trades. Yes, five trades. I have done already five trades. Yes, so uh, um, I was waiting for the uh, better opportunity. Yes, so I didn't trade any kind of trade till the next and uh, so i will draw now one after one the next candles which i have waited yes where i didn't trade it and then uh, on the last trade i will stop the video again yes and then i will show you why i traded there and what i have done there okay okay the next one comes now okay now comes the next one so you see here how the process of elimination is working here. Yes, here we got another uh, candle, which took, or not the process of elimination, how this quick here is showing buying pressure while we are close to the support and resistance level. This support and resistance level, this round number is pulling the price. And important is that it's not an effective chart, fictive chart. This is a real chart. I have the chart here, the screenshot, yes. So you can uh, get it if you want. Yes, um, and uh, I will show you this after this trade, uh, after this um, um, uh, video. I, I show you this uh, for a second, yes, uh, and then you, if you want it, I can send you this. So, okay, let me see. I, I have to bring it to an end because uh, this takes a lot of time here again. Um, and uh, I need to convert this video and that takes another six hours if I don't stop it early. So, I have to do, the, uh, I draw the next one. So, and you see how price is moving here around the support and resistance level. Here we got a retracement of this evening star after this bearish candle, but this was really short. Yes, you see, really small, really tricky. Here you cannot trade, and that was the reason why I stayed out of those kind of trades, because we are here far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band. You have to always have this in mind. We have here support and resistance level. Yes, so, and so I avoided any kind of trade, and I will draw the next candle. Okay, the next candle is coming. Okay, so the next one. So I hope I will um, achieve it till this level here. Yes, because I have to draw some more candles to, the, to show you the last trade which I've done. You see, I have done a pause here from this level on. Yes, where I have done this trade of this candle. I didn't trade anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six minutes already. Yes, and there will come another four minutes till I didn't trade and after this I traded again. So let me see where, um, the next candle. Okay, the next candle is coming. Okay, so the next candle, you see how the consolidation area around this round numbers are getting here. Yes, consolidation area, consolidation area. Yes, really tricky. Two tiny candles. Don't trade on those kind of tiny candles. They are really risky yes, because you will not get a good entry point. Don't trade if you don't know the direction, what's happening, yes. And also on, uh, don't trade if you don't get good movements, yes. Because you see, that are really tricky ones. Here you get uh, almost, yes, here you can almost lose only, yes, because it's really tricky. So let me show you the next candle. Okay, you see here, this wick here is already showing again buying pressure, yes. And uh, after this reversal, Yes, here we have a nice reversal. Here we have a breakout of this box range. Uh, this candle is not a so strong one because this week is showing buying pressure again. And now it's coming the next candle. So, and the next candle was this one. So, and on the next candle, and that was the last trade which I have done, yes. You see, I have waited here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 candles. Yes, 12 minutes. Before I was trading every three or four candles, yes, because it was clear what happened here. Here we got a dark cloud cover. Yes, here we got a evening star, the trend continuation of an evening star, far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band. Here we got a trend continuation of an uptrend. Here we got consolidation, so I stayed away. Yes, I have understood this because price was moving here at this key level of the round number. Then we got here another consolidation. I, I stayed away till I understood what's happening. So after the, we created here another top, yes, the first top. Then we got here a pullback from somewhere, yes, and then we created here another top, 
Yes, that is a traversal signal. And because these candles here are not breaking through this area here, I didn't enter into a trend continuation. And because it was a second top, it was lower than the first top, and this was a good uh, a black cloud cover again. Yes, I entered on the next candle far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band into a put expecting um, yes the next candle and the next candle was then this and that was the last trade okay so that was the last candle yes and that got also the money so and that were all the trades which i have done i will do a much much more explanation uh, later on this uh, on this uh, image yes and uh, now i'm going to show you the image which um, yes i show you the chart which i have traded so you see here that is a euro usd chart yes it was on yesterday morning yes at 11 o'clock when i had some time so and then i traded this kind of chart here you see it's exactly the same chart here with uh, the bollinger band and uh, with the uh, emas but you don't need them i have shown you this yes uh, that you can understand the distance to the bollinger band also only from the naked chart Yes, uh, obviously, if you have the indicator on it, you, you see it's much more clear. Yes, where consolidation area is about. Here we have the consolidation area. Here we have the consolidation area. Yes, and uh, here you got also, you see the dark cloud cover broke the one deviation. So it was much more sure. Yes, here we got uh, the trend continuation because we were here still above the two deviation. Yes, and uh, here you see the reversal. Yes, on the one deviation because this candle stopped at the one deviation. You see how the indicators are helping you, but you don't need them. Yes, you can do this also, but you have to this to have this view. Yes, it's exactly the same chart. I have done this. Yes, I have show, shown the trade. I will do some explanation more in the detail uh, when I have finished this video. So if you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye-bye.